Hi, this is Olincelot, and today I have another one of my thought chains for you. And today it's going to be a little bit random because when I sat down to draw this one, I really didn't have any idea what I was going to draw pictures about. One thing that I've been thinking a lot about lately is how my back hurts because of a herniated disc that I have in my lower spine. It's really uncomfortable and it makes it difficult to sleep in a bed, so the last few nights I've been actually sleeping downstairs in a recliner that I have. And when I woke up this morning, I was kind of confused because sitting on my lap was a shoe. And I'm sure it was one of my kids, but I really don't know how that shoe got there exactly, and I don't remember anybody setting it on my lap. Well, that reminded me of when I was a kid, and my brother and I used to sleep in a bunk bed. My brother always slept on the top, and I slept on the bottom until one night when I begged and begged to be able to sleep on the top. So he let me. And that night, I think what happened was my mom came in the room, and she had these stuffed animals that she made. They were Care Bears. And she put the blue one on my bed on the top and the green one on my brother's bed on the bottom. And somehow in the middle of the night, I fell off of the top bunk and I landed on the floor because I wasn't used to sleeping up there. But I didn't even wake up. The funny thing is, is that the bear fell off the bed with me. So when I woke up in the morning, I remember looking down by my feet and seeing this teddy bear just randomly sitting there. And I had no idea how it got there and I was really confused. But I didn't mind too much. It was the free teddy bear, so I was happy. That reminds me of this one time when I was a little bit older and we used to have a bedroom upstairs, my brother and I. And I got up in the night and I had to go to the bathroom so I opened the door and I remember it was really dark in the house and my shadow went clear down the stairwell and I was kind of scared standing there at the top of the stairs. But I had to go pee really bad so I went ahead and started going down the stairs. And when I was almost at the bottom. I was even more confused because I stepped on something and it wasn't hard or sharp and wasn't painful. It was wet and it was like confusing and squishy and I had no idea what this mystery item was on the stairs and so I stood there and pushed on it with my toes and my foot for a little while trying to figure it out. And when I finally got to the bottom of the stairs and turned the light on, I was shocked at what I saw laying on the stairs. Because apparently during the night, my dog had come over there on the stairs and decided that he was sick enough that he would just blow chunks all over the steps. So he threw up this big grass ball of vomit and grass on the stairs and that's what I'd been playing with with my foot. When I was older, my friend and I, we were good buddies and there was these girls that were actually older than us and they decided they wanted to go out on a date with us and being younger than them, we were really surprised and happy by that because going out on a date with an older chick was a pretty cool thing to do. And this one part of the date, we stopped and we had to get some gas in the car. So we pulled up to the gas pump and got out and pumped the gas and everybody went inside and got some snacks and when I got back into the back seat of the car, I sat down there in the back seat and I shut my door and I heard this kind of confusing noise coming from outside my door. Not only had I forgot to go around and open the door for my date, but my date was staring through the window and she was like screaming at me with her mouth open and she was freaking out. I was like, man, 
She's really mad I didn't let her in the door. And then I looked up and realized that on accident I had shut her fingers in the door. All four of her fingers on her left hand. So I started screaming while she was screaming. And it was, ended up being a really bad date. My friend ended up holding hands with his girl and my date ended up kind of giving me the cold shoulder while she nursed her sore fingers. So I guess the moral of the story is that confusion and moist feet is usually gross, but confusion and a girl screaming is most likely a bad date. Well, that's the end of this thought chain. We'll see you next Sunday. Oh, let's a lot.